Searing Ashes are one of the most valuable drops you can obtain consistently from a creature every single kill. And in this video, we're going to cover why they're easier to obtain than ever. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. Searing Ashes are used for two different things in RuneScape, being creating aggression potions and for prayer training, although I will say it's actually inefficient to use Searing Ashes for prayer training because you can get more experience per hour using a powder of burials and then simply using dragon bones and burying those at the bank. I made an entire video covering this, by the way, if you're interested, which I'll link in the description below. Since the Wilderness rework, it's possible for players to bring high-level gear into the Wilderness without the risk of getting PK. Instead, they are attacked by monster ambushes and volcano attacks. Because of this, more players than ever are farming lava strike worms to obtain these searing ashes, as it just is far less risky nowadays, and for that reason, the item is crashing, although it's hopping up and down. Now, despite searing ashes having crashed to a sell price of around 50 to 55k, I'd say there are better money maker now because you can bring all that gear into the wilderness without that risk and clap them harder than you could have ever done with the hellfire bones and royal dragonhide now all this money maker is currently a little bit unstable it will eventually balance out because people simply dislike farming strike worms as they're spread out creatures you have to click every single time and the searing ashes are used for aggression potions which will always be in demand and certain updates in the future could spike the price of aggression potions and searing ashes once again. And yes, unsurprisingly, aggression potions alongside a couple of other wilderness rework related items like ancient warrior patches and permanent equipment patches are of course also crashing. Okay, so what do you need to take down lava strike worms? Well, you need level 94 slayer and I'd suggest having at least 80 plus combat stats in the style you're going to be using. It does not matter which style you use, although it's worth pointing out that if you're using melee, you're going to aggro the Dark Beast nearby far more often, and that's annoying. In terms of useful things, I highly suggest having the Death Note Archaeology Relic Power or Magic Note Paper to note the Searing Ashes. Sometimes they also drop additional noted ashes, which are already pre-noted by the way. Bringing along or having an advanced gold accumulator on your tool belt is useful because these Lava Strike Worms drop a bunch of coins. Having your Slayer Helmet on your Anachronia Slayer Helmet stand is of course going to be useful if you're killing these on task, but you do not need a Slayer task to kill these at all. Now, if you want this method to become a less click intensive, having a legendary pet using the scavenging perk set to notes and ashes, or just to ashes if you don't have the death note relic, is amazing. These can be bought through rune coins or through the oddman store. An essential item to bring along in the wilderness is the infernal puzzle box as it gives you both damage reduction and increased damage against monsters in the wilderness. Not only that, but it will also allow you to keep your adrenaline from being drained outside of combat given that you've unlocked the tier 3 upgrade. Now, since the latest patch, you're able to buy super anti-fire potions, so you have no excuse not to bring this along. You want to bring this along just for the ambush attacks, because if Hydrix dragons or Onyx dragons spawn, you know, just dragons in general, they will rip you apart, so you want to sip that potion so you're safe. Then either tank the damage or run away, depending on your own gear setup. Lava Strike Worms are located south of the Lava Maze, which you can get to easily using your Slayer Cape Teleport to Mandriff the Wilderness Teleport Obelisks, your Wilderness Sword of the Hurt Patch, or of course by just walking there. Now Lava Strike Worms are really simple to take out, especially if you have Curses Unlock, you can just Soul Split and basically clap them, especially if you have a tier 90 weapon. Now if you're not able to Soul Split back all of your health, or you don't have Curses, you're going to want to protect against the style you're weakest against. The Worm attacks with melee ranged and magic, but its magic attacks are really obvious, and the ranged attacks are also easy to see because they bounce off the floor first before hitting you. That is if you want to pray for like against these creatures. It also has a mechanic where it drags you into melee distance and you have a few seconds to move out of the way by using surge or by walking before it comes up and slaps you. And remember to never stand underneath the strike worms because you'll bleed typeless damage. The only other thing you need to watch out for of course is the wilderness threat level system as it will go up as you're killing these strike worms and you'll get higher hitting volcano attacks which you can pray against by the way based on the color. If it's green ranged, blue magic and so on or the ambushes where you want to sip your super anti-fire potion to be safe from those dragons if they do spawn. With the mechanics out of the way, all you really need to focus on is making sure that you're picking up every single Searing Ash drop you can get, and if you can bother some of the other drops as well. I personally area looted the noted drops every now and then alongside the Rune Salvage and Enchanted Bolts. I also like to pick up the Fury Sharks in case I ever need those in the future. While killing these, you have a 1 in 12,288 chance of task that is to receive a Worm Spike Heart or Scalp, 
which will be quite valuable and a nice addition to your session. If on task, they're a little bit more common at 1 in 6,168 per item. Now in terms of kills per hour, I got around 290, which results in around 80 million GP per hour or more if you include the chance of obtaining those rare drops. Now even at a lower kill per hour rate, you'll still be making consistent GP from just selling those searing ashes and they will be a good money maker for years to come. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.